I don't know, but I think that is probably the worst blocking in I've ever done. I thought maybe I would do this one today. You probably can't see that properly from there, so I'm gonna put it up right here. Okay, so first things first, uh, I've done a little bit of reflection in there, but now I'm gonna work on these darker areas here. Um, and to do that, I'm just gonna pick out all the individual little stones and rocks under the water with a glaze of black, probably some burnt umber, and that'll do it, using liquid. I'm just picking out the darker areas here and then I'll put in some of the highlights on those rocks afterwards. Just picking out the individual rocks under the water here and then I'll give them some definition once I've done it. And it can all be softened a little bit, but I don't think it's going to need to be softened really. But there's some quite a few there's quite a few more darker areas that I'm not putting in at the moment, but we will. We'll get there. Got the, we've got the, um, the rocks under the water here, sort of defined a bit more. I'm just going to add a few more sort of shadow areas before I put in those highlights. There's quite a few shadows actually under the water. mixed in with that black. Probably not quite that much though. So we're getting less definition. Right, so now we're at this point, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a soften. It's probably not going to blend that much actually, because that, because the uh, medium I've used is liquid, it's started to 
dry a little bit, but it doesn't matter too much. Let's just give that a slight soften. And now we can go in with a few highlights and really pick up that riverbed. Clean the brush. Right, so to get that, I'm going to use liquid again at the white. Right now, I'm going to go with burnt umber, a bit of that cadmium yellow medium, a, bit, a little bit of white, a touch of orange. Let's have a look, see how close we are with that. Hmm, could be a bit warmer, so we'll go again. Because we've mixed it with a liquid and it's quite, it's quite diluted, the colours aren't that strong, so we'll I'll make sure I'm mixing in a bit more saturation in that, a bit more than probably is in the photograph. I'm just pulling out little, little areas. Not dissimilar to that. Tiny little sort of stones and things under the riverbed, just with the light catching them. A bit more orange again. Hmm. I think that's okay. I think we can add a bit of alizarin and crimson in that. That's pretty good. I suppose in a way what I'm looking to do is I'm not copying the photograph well I suppose I'm copying it faithfully no I'm not I'm not I'm just doing my own sort of version of it really um, I mean for example there would probably be more highlights there'd certainly be more shadows in there there'd be a much much more of a variation of color but as I've said in the past, it's not um, it's not a hyper real picture. Um, it's not going to be displayed in a gallery with the photograph. So you know what? It's not that necessary to get it exactly right. So we're just getting it to look look like stones under the water, really. And I think we're getting there. I think we are getting there. Okay, so I think I'll leave that area just to dry a little bit more before I then put in some reflections over the top and I shall get working on the rest of the water. I'll come back to that and I'll show you in a minute. So I'm now working on now working on the um, now working on the water here and the reflections. Uh, this is it's not fully dry; it's tacky. But the um, reflections that I'm going to put over the top of this shouldn't disturb it too much. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a glaze on there, so we get plenty of liquid, uh, and then we're going to get the green. and a bit of the yellow. And I'm just gonna bring some of that down into the dark water here. So you need to make sure that it's very, very transparent. I mean, you can see, you can see right through that. Whether it's so, you know, so, uh, so thin. Uh, the consistency of that, because what you want is to be able to see. You don't want to fully cover what's there. You just want to, you want to uh, just put a slight glaze over the top of it while still being able to see what's underneath. Now in the photograph, it's they're more sort of a, it's more of a ripply glaze like that. But I think 
I'm just going to go straight down. It might be a little bit weak, but I can build up on it. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use just something to lean against. Smash up the place. I'm going to lean against this just while I do it so I don't smudge what's already there. So as you can see, you can, it's um, transparent enough to see what's underneath as well. And you can soften them as well, these, because it is very, very, um, very wet, you know, it's, there's a lot of liquid in that. It's, it's mainly liquid with a little bit of pigment. So I'll just give that a little bit of a, a little bit of a soften. See, it's pretty good. So I can also come along here and do, because you've got obviously a lighter area here, I can go ahead and put something in there as well. Add a little bit of white if you want to um, make it a bit more apparent, but it's still there's still enough liquid in that to uh, make it transparent, so you're still able to see exactly what is underneath. So let's add a little bit more color to that and maybe even a little bit of white cool it down a bit a bit of that blue let's give that a try So that is pretty much how I will do a glaze. You can change the colour, so we add a bit more blue. That's a cooler green. And there we go. Let's try it now with a little bit of same glaze, same technique, but putting water over the top where you can see through it. So what we do, plenty more liquid. And I'm going to use that blue that's already there. And I'm going to just give it a bit of a, a bit of a ripply little bit. You can still see through. So it really gives you that sort of glassy look. here um, which just sort of gives you the edge of that sort of water line makes it stand out a little bit more and I'm going to put that in here and then I'll also just put in some tiny little blips where the light is just catching top of little ripples or there might be something you know a bit of debris floating in there and it'll just you know be a bit of light shining on it so I'm going to do that and then I think we're pretty much there for the water. Cool, that is the water finished. There's not a lot left to do now on the picture. Just, there's a canopy of trees coming in at the top here, which I'm gonna do now, but pretty pleased with that. It's looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. 